So today let's make some Spätzle. So Spätzle is a southern German egg noodle and it comes in various shapes and sizes and today we're going to be making the longer thicker kind as opposed to the thinner kind or the small boxy kind uh, for some good old Käse Spätzle. For those who haven't had it, the closest thing I could possibly compare it to would be macaroni and cheese. But in reality, this has a much different texture and the flavor is also a little bit different. So it requires a few weird steps, but on the whole, this is very, very forgiving. So uh, as you'll see, I made quite a few mistakes. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to need to do is actually make the noodle dough. This is really simple to make. In my opinion, it's much easier than Italian pasta. It is easy, just maybe I didn't do it entirely correctly, and I'll clarify in a second. But let's just uh, go ahead and start with the ingredients. We need three eggs, and we'll go ahead and just beat these. And we'll add one teaspoon of salt, which is about three grams. And then where I messed up is I should have done this in a separate container. You need 250 grams of all-purpose flour. In another container, we need 50 milliliters, or about one quarter cup of warm water. Now. The way that I should have done this was adding the water to the eggs and then adding the flour by sifting it. I don't know why I didn't do it this way. I guess I just kind of wanted to make my life a little bit harder. So we're just going to keep mixing the dough until it really comes together and it really should just blend and before you know it you will have just nothing but a nice, it almost seems like a pancake batter but it's a lot thicker. Now this might look a little bit runny and it is but we're going to let this sit for 30 minutes and rest so that the gluten can form and this will really make it a lot thicker. So while the noodle dough is resting we can go ahead and get the other ingredients prepared that we need for the dish. So the first thing of these side ingredients that we'll need is about a 100 grams of cheese. Now I'm using Emmentaler, which is in North America sold typically as Swiss cheese, but you're welcome to use whatever cheese you want and really this dish is up to you. The second thing that we need are some slowly sweated onions. So to do this we just need to chop some onions into half rings and we're going to do this as thinly and as consistently as you can manage and this is just basically so that they all cook at the same rate. So once you've cut up your onions we can heat up a pan on medium low and add a knob of butter in. Once it's melted we can add in our onions. Now we want to cook this slowly over the course of about 30 minutes so just keep an eye on it and kind of mix it every few minutes or so but one word of warning this stuff is gonna make your whole kitchen smell really good to everybody in your house and it's gonna like draw anybody that's in the vicinity of the kitchen to it so uh, just keep this in mind the only problem is that the next few steps are the hardest part and so they require a little bit of attention but Maybe you can get them to help. So after the noodle dough has rested for 30 minutes, we can actually begin to make them. And to make them, we'll need some tools. And now there's a million different items used to make various kinds of spätzle. But today I want to show you the method of using a board. Now I happen to have a spätzle board. And this came with this little thing here, but these are really, you don't need these tools. The only thing you really need is just a wooden board or a chopping board and some form of a dough scraper or an offset spatula, which is actually what I'm going to use because I, I prefer this the best. We need to just prepare um, two more things to actually make the noodles. One is we need to get a pot of boiling water and we'll just add some salt to this water so that it's, it's salted boiling water. And lastly for the preparation we need a bowl of cold water and this will be used to help stop the cooking of the noodles when we're done. Okay so now we're ready to actually make the noodles. So with one hand hold the board and with your other hand use your scraping implement to get some of the dough out of the bowl that you had the dough in and spread it onto the board then use your scraper and try to make an even thin layer on the board once this is done very carefully so you don't burn yourself dip the board into the boiling water and pull it back out this will help for the next step which is to take your scraping tool and cut one layer of noodles and kind of push it into the boiling water and we're going to just keep repeating this process until we get to the point where the water did not touch the board, so basically the dry dough. The water helps the noodles slide off the board and into the water. So what you need to do next is get your scraping implement and spread the dough that's on the top half back down to the bottom half, re-dip it, cut the noodles, and then push them into the boiling water. Now once we've gotten all of the dough off the board, we're just going to let this sit for about 10 to 15 seconds so the, the noodles have a chance to cook. Once this is done, then use a slotted spoon to pull the noodles out of the boiling water and then dip them into the bowl of cold water. Then pour these noodles into a strainer and allow them to just drip. Now that we've gotten this process done, we can actually go back and repeat this whole thing. So again, hold the board with one hand, use the scraping implement to get it onto the board, spread it thin, dip it in the water, cut up the noodles, push them into the water, push the dough on the top down to the bottom, re-dip, cut the noodles noodles, pull them out with a slotted spoon, dip them in the cold water, drain them, and then that's another step. For me this took about four times of actually putting the dough onto the board. At first it might be a little bit crazy and actually I had never done this before myself and I actually had a lot of bad noodles come out at first. But by the end it was actually the motion became very easy to get. And so just like pancakes for example, 
I don't know why, I always mess up the first two. But unlike pancakes, the mess ups are really easily hidden, so nobody will really see these in there. So you're pretty good. So just keep this process up and, you know, pump these noodles out, and before you know it, you'll have the whole thing done, and it'll look pretty good. So once we're done, and we're sure that all of the noodles have been drained, we just give it one more shake to make sure we get all of the water out. We can now put our spätzle in with the onions. Go ahead and give them a good mix, and make sure that the onions are mixed well with the um, spätzle, and there's a good distribution, because the next and final step, essentially, is just to add the, the cheese. Now, the cheese is a little bit tricky, and it's I tend to pull it off the heat and let the residual heat in the pan cook and melt the cheese, and also the, the heat from the noodles. So just kind of, you know, spread this around, and then you will have a nice mixed uh, cajus spätzle. So now we could go further here, and we could maybe put it in the oven. I actually think I'm just going to call it done here. And um, it actually turned out great, and I, I really loved it, and it was exactly what I was hoping it would come out like. That's basically it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing. And just so you can get more content like this if you like the channel. And that's it. Uh, bye.